Shalom to everyone. Today we are learning Zeyla Shimshon, Parashat Shemot. This shiur should be the Fuash Lemayin Atzlacha and growth to become big, young men, Tzadik Yisod Olam, and give Nacha to his parents, Azariah Yehuda Pinchasov, Ben Aaron Pinchasov. Mazal Tov, today was haircut of your son, Be'ezad Hashem, he should bring only Nacha. And Hashem should give you many more sons, Be'ezad Hashem. Nacha to your daughters. Okay, <clears throat> mazal tov to you, to your wife, to your father-in-law, mother-in-law, to your father, mother, grandfather-in-law, Rabbi Eliyahu, a Kohen. You should see always nachat from your children. Amen. Amen. And this you should be also leilu nishmat zin zilpa ba tamar. Today is two months. How she passed away, young mother, Ruach Hashem, and I want to say thank you to her husband, to her children, to the brother-in-law, to the Kudom Olam Malkel, and all the nephews and all the relatives. My cousin, sister, one week. And also, uh, Miriam got the skirts. Miriam bat Surya, vagam Sonia bat Livka, vagam Shifra bat Lachel, vagam Yosef Chaim ben Lea, vagam Amnun ben Lea, vagam... Gabriel Ben Bert, Vagam Grisha Ben Maria Mazal, Vagam Maria Mazal Bat Yeah, Vagam David Ben Aaron Ben Esther, Gon of Dalim Gabriel Ben Shua, Vagam Gon of Dalim, Vagam Shura Bat Lachel, Ruach Hashem Tenechem, Vagam Ben Shua Lachel, Amen This Shur should be Refuah Shlema, Refuah Tanefe, Shurfah Daguf To Hillel בן אור ברכה, וגם עובדיה בן ישראל חי לביא, וגם יאנה בת ארלה, וגם כל חולי עמו ישראל. וכן היא לעצור ונאמר, אמן. אוקיי, אנחנו עושים לדר ג' לדר ג' אה, ואיפה רבי אהרון, אהול אף הכהן היא, חי שרה, ומיסיס אולגה דוידוב, ברוכים הבאים, let's go, let's start the shiur. פארו! was thinking to decrease Jewish nation. Hashem blessed us. We were growing speedy in Egypt. Paro couldn't handle this. And he said, Let us outsmart Klal Israel. They're becoming so many. Let us enslave them. Let us separate them. Husband should sleep on the floor. Many reasons why they were not allowed to be together. Bed is called Puria. Why? Because Pilia Valivia, they didn't want to make Pilia Valivia. They didn't want us to increase. Today, when we teach Khatan Kala classes, or we don't teach Khatan Kala classes, doesn't matter. Any young generation coming with certain crookedness. Hashem should give their brain lefuah shlema. It's a serious crookedness. And this is big chilul Hashem. And I feel bad for them. For such a crooked idea. We didn't even meet them. They're calling us. Can we learn Chatan Kala class? Yeah, you could. And suddenly Kala is approaching my wife to say, I want to take birth control pills or pregnant. I don't know what is this called. Shtuyot. Yeah, birth control pills. I don't want to have a child right away for the next five, six months. Why? We didn't know each other. We didn't get to know each other. Yeah, we didn't get used to it. Guys, my parents, they went out three times the fourth time they got married. And Bar Hashem, they were fine. They didn't know to, they didn't know, they didn't have to know each other too much. If you know somebody too much, you're not going to stay with that person 24 hours. Okay? So therefore, it's a mitzvah to have a child. Whoever has potential to have a first child, or second or third, and they push it away, they get seen for that. They'll be responsible for that. It's a mistake. I don't know who gave them such a crooked idea. You know when you tell them you're not allowed, oh yeah, why all my friends do it? <laughs> who said they're doing right? Someone who takes his head into the toilet and flies, you're gonna do also? <laughs> That's wrong! You're killing your children! That's not smart! Who gives such a crooked idea? It should be, it should, anyway, they support such a stupidity. What are you supporting? What are you doing? Who said so? Fine. Guess what? Fine. You know somebody for three years, you want to know him for six more years. 
We're not ready to have a child. Who says when you're going to be ready? Hashem is going to be ready. Hashem is ready. I'm not ready now to give you a child. Then you're done. Echoes? <coughs> it's okay. You should know one thing. Perurvu. You get married to multiply. You don't get married to surat and look at each other like devil. You love me, I love you. Love, love, love. That's not the point of marriage. People got it wrong. Alkenia Zovish et avivetimo vidavaki beishto vayule basarecha. Therefore, Man should say bye-bye to his father and mother. It doesn't mean bye-bye, I don't respect you. I'm not going to help you. I'm not going to be a backbone. No, that doesn't mean that. It means relations. Until that moment in the Torah, everybody were married to each other. That was not a problem. After that, Torah said, man should live with his wife. For what? He should attach himself to her. And they should become one flesh. When they want, when they have child together. Father gives bones, white parts. Mother gives flesh, skin, uh, blood, red things. And Hashem gives neshama. What if? What if? We don't want to have child. Now Hashem said, you know the purpose I made you together to get married? Because I see in you daddy and I see in you mommy. You want to hold yourself from this? Then problems come in. I don't want to say something wrong. But if I don't say, another person doesn't say, third person doesn't say, becomes problem. Anytime purposely you don't want to have child, that is called Zerul Vatala. Now we're holding on the show of him months. You know, Motsi Zera Levatala stands for Mem Zayin Lamed Mazal. You are cutting off your Mazal. Don't run for people to give you brachot to put your Mazal together. Then it's too late. You're corrupting it right now on the spot. Every child is a bracha. Every child is a gift. You know, sometimes a person deserves to leave this world. Hashem says, because you have a child, I'm going to make you leave. We live longer because of our children. So whoever stops is cutting his own lifespan. So it's a mistake. I don't understand where this crookedness comes from. Whose idea is this? Hashem should protect us. Wake us up. To value every single moment of marriage. is putting Hashem in them. How do you put Hashem in them? When you follow Hashem's rules. Hashem should wake us up. Amen. 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 The Pasuk says. Zerah Shimshon, Shmot Gimel, page Taf Ayn, 470. Pasuk says, And Paro wanted to destroy Klal Israel. He was making men sleep in the field, women sleep at home. Men sleep at home, women sleep in the field. Daytime, working. In the Fields doing one thing, nighttime working in their houses. Why? So husband and wife don't see each other. He wanted to do anything to stop it. Today we have in America a new paro. What? It's not comfortable for us. I have tests to take. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah? The main test to take in the world is to pass Hashem's test. No other tests in the world. Anything is possible to take. If you don't pass Hashem's test, we learned Gilgulim just 20 <laughs> minutes ago. <laughs> and it's not a joke. Guys, can I tell you something? Person who has anxiety issues, he's going to have wild, he's going to have child or he's not going to have child. Person who has depression problems, he's going to have whether he has child or he doesn't have child. Person who doesn't trust his spouse, he's not going to help his, his child or two children or three, grandchild or no grandchild. That doesn't mean all this excuse, fake excuse. People get married in order to build a bond. They both need to take care of a baby. And this is how people grow together. With all these excuses, I don't know how long these marriages last. Our grandparents, us, 20, 30 years ago, people got married. No excuse, such excuse, no shtiyot. Baruch Hashem. We survived. 
Believe me, they also will survive. I give them bracha to wake up to the reality and to emit to the truth and to have child as soon as possible. Let's continue. The pasha, or the pasha says, Uvnei Israel, and you should know one thing. We are too tiny to change Hashem's ideas. If Hashem wants that couple to have a child, 50 pills they'll take, they'll still have a child. Hashem will say, no, who's laughing now, me or you? Unei Israel and Jewish nation, after all the ideas of Paro, Unei Israel, Paru, Vayishretsu, Vayirbu, Vayatsimu, be meod meod, Vatimalea Aretz Otam. And Jewish nation were fruitful, they increased, they became great, they became strong into very much, and the whole land was filled of them. Kafal kol Elo Alashonod Lilmoz, this all this. Triple and double language to hint us all the miracles that took, all, took place in, to, for them. It says in Midrash Shmod Laba that the Israelites were not sleeping day and night to think what to do to separate Klal Israel, not to make them children. You know, today Hashem should protect them. The world is corrupted. They teach boys should be with boy, girls should be with girls. The whole reason why? They want to reduce the population. Smart person needs to get made first to have more children. Who do we follow? Emptiness. Person doesn't want to have a child now, who's going to say Kaddish for him? Oh, he thinks I'm going to live 150 years? Guess what? Doesn't happen. <coughs> At night, husband wants to see his wife, he wants to see his children. Now, come over here, come to my house, go to the field. They would separate husband from wife. One night, Yoshua, Moshe Abenu's student, he caused men and women should not be together. Hashem told him, you will never have sons for that. One night. Can you imagine how important it is? This is why when we teach Chatan Kalaklas, we tell them, when you're angry, don't use your anger against your spouse. Oh, you made me like this. Today I'm sleeping on my bed. I'm sleeping on different bed. I'm saying, no. Don't do that. What do we teach them? What the Zohar says? Man is led a yud. A woman is like, hey, anytime they're together, they write Hashem's name in Kiddushah and holiness. Yud K. What if they're not together when they need to be together? After Mikva, after Kiddushah, Tara, why not? No, he made me upset. She made me upset. Hashem said, you know what he did today? You were not together, you erased my name. That's a big avera. Tell me, if we learned about Gilgulim today, somebody did something slight and they had to come as a cow, as this, as that. So when a person erases Hashem's name, what is going to come at? What is it going to come as? How is he going to fix himself? Is that so simple? I wish. I wish. It's not so simple. And they man, they made men to sleep on the floor, on the ground. But our wives. Holy woman, they were very careful with them. Ukneget Zeamar, Paru, Shayu, Mekaimim Pilia Valivia. They would approach them, they would come to them to the fields, they would hide with them, they would give them water. When a woman wants to take a little bit of water, Hashem put a lot of fish. Fish gives you a little bit, how do you say that? Yeah. Warmth in the body, so you should have more desires because the, the men were exhausted. They were exhausted, they were beaten. They couldn't raise their hands. The fish they ate, give them koach. Hashem said, don't worry my son, I'm here with you. Iman no Hashem says, I'm with you in your pain. I'm with you in your suffering. You suffer, I'm suffering with you, but don't worry. If I'm with you, You'll be fine. 
Hashem is with us every day, every time. Ah, huh? you guys hear me? Hashem is with us every time. He's with us. We can't have lacking bitachon here. Even though they didn't come to homes at night, just for 10, 15 minutes in a week, in a month, in six months, women would come for 5, 10 minutes to give her husband fish or something in the field, they would say good words to them. And they would go for 5, 10 minutes being together, hidden, hidden, just to have a child. Today everything is free. Oh, we're not so ready. Hashem should give them a full shleimah. So what happens? Hashem made them get pregnant. And not only that, six kids at a time. Six! Six children. One shot. Anna, one shot. Hashem said, you desire, you're going to have it. They didn't let men to sleep on the bed. Why? It's called Puriya. Ah, you're going to increase, you're going to multiply. Sheparim v'rabin aleya. The bed is called where I do my mitzvot. When Yaakov Avinu passed away, last week we read, why Yaakov Avinu passed away happy? He said, Yaakov didn't pass away his life. Why? Shemitato shelema. His bed was complete. The children that came to me from my bed, they were holy children. They were not corrupted. They didn't have heart of two gods in them. Only one Hashem. This was said, Shema Yisrael, listen our daddy Yaakov. Hashem Elokeinu, Hashem Echad. Hashem is our God, Hashem is one. What did he say? Baruch. Shem. Kibod ma'achuto le'olam. It's machloket. Do we say Baruch Shem loud or low? If we do say low because of who? Because I couldn't say loud. No, we say it because of Moshe Abenu. When Moshe Abenu went to get the Torah, he took it from Malach Amavit, from Malachim, he took it. So this is why we say low, so because Malach will not hit us. Baruch Shem is the Hebrew version of Amen Yesh Merabah Mevorach. Same translation. The Kivin. Questions Tuesday. What is the translation for Baruch Shem? Kivon let Hashem's name be blessed forever and ever. It says in Gemara Shabbat, since you're asking Raphael, I would have to answer you. It says in Gemara Shabbat, page 119b, if person says with the entire kavana, Yehesh Merabah Mevorach O Baruch Shem Kvod Machuto Hashem erases 70 years bad decree from his family. It's such a strong prayer. Therefore, when some people say Kaddish, we're not allowed to walk around near them, behind them, from them. No. They lose concentration. Kaddish is so holy, whoever answers Amen, Yeshmer Rabbi Mavorach, 70 years bad decree from the family is gone. Whatever has to be bad for 70 years, gone. This is our Kaddish strong prayer. And in Kaddish we pray 72 name of Hashem. Okay? So your question was not for no reasons. Deep question. Thank you. Vekivin. Shemagi man. Ledatam, when the time came for Jewish women to give birth, holchot v'yaldot besadeh tachat atapuach, they would go to the field under the apple trees. Ve'alze amar vayishiratzu, and they were increasing like uh, creatures. Sheretz, what's sheretz? A crawler, like crawlers, like insects. Eh, they're like insects, like ah. Uh, they would give birth to children in the fields, like crawlers, insects. Even though, you know, field cold at night, there's winds. Newborn baby cannot handle winds. And the children could have died because of all this. Still, they were increased, children didn't die. 
Can you imagine if you depend in Hashem, even though you have nothing to wear, even though you have nothing, you know where. Still, the odd hayu baim malachim umenakim otam malachim would come and clean the baby. You know, baby is born a little bit dirty. You have to clean it up, right? Umeshaprim mm-hmm. otam, make them beautiful. Kechaya zo she meshaperet et avlat, like a nursing woman. That makes the baby beautiful. So they should be healthy and strong. Like the Rabbi Hanina in Masechet Chulin Daf Kav Dalet on the Shabbat, Kav Dalet Amud Bet. As Rabbi Hanina said in the Gemara, Shem Shemen She Sichtani Imi Beyalduti He Amdali Beet Zikunati. The oil that my mom put it on me when I was a baby, stood with me until I was old man. This is how Malachim took care of those babies. Vezeu v'ya'atzmo. And this is what it means, they were strong. Because Malachim took care of them, put special oil on them, and made those kids strong. V'achar ezeh, b'mo'od mo'od. And they became many. Tell me, what Egyptians, did they come to the field? They come to the field. They see Jewish child, why they didn't step on them? Why they didn't kill on them? This is something new for me. It's a present for me to listen to what it says here. Lilmoz ashte igulin. It's like Malachim prepared for them like two type of cakes. Igule dvela, okay? Echad shel shemen ve echad shel dvash. One from oil and one from honey. Ve kimen shayu makirim baem amitzrim latzu laargam. As soon as Egyptians would see the Jewish child, say, oh, this is the boy that angel took care of. They would take a sword run after him. Ve naase laem nez. Hashem made a miracle. Those kids, they were absorbed in the ground. They wouldn't see them. This is what it says in the Pasuk. What does that mean? The land was filled with them. Not the surface of the land. The under of the land. They were all boop, 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 absorbed. And they were absorbed under the ground. Some people said today they found some people they live under the ground. But original life under the ground was here in Mitzrayim and Hashem protected. You should know one thing. Why we learn all this? What do you think? Hashem only protects us then in Egypt? Daily, how Hashem protects us now, we don't know. Only Hashem knows. How many things go against Kalal Israel daily? We don't know. Our job to get up, put filin, tzitzit, pray shacharit, mincha arvit, we walk, we keep Shabbat, we keep kashrut. We don't even know how much and from what Hashem every second protecting us. We should be always protected and we should grow into our mitzvot. Amen.